What started as a trending hashtag has now become one of America's largest and most influential activist groups. We are tired of the killing. Welcome to Watch Mojo News, the weekly series where we break down news stories that might be on your radar. Black males are two times more likely to be shot by a law enforcement officer than white male. Don, that is a lie. In this installment, we're counting down 10 crucial facts you should know about the Black Lives Matter movement. Number 10. What is Black Lives Matter? Black Lives Matter is an activist group and social movement that crusades against violence towards black people. The group coordinates protests and demonstrations to draw greater attention to the unfair treatment of black people within society, which includes racial profiling, police brutality, and the killing of black people by law enforcement agencies. BLM emerged in 2013 following the acquittal of George Zimmerman, a neighborhood watch coordinator who shot 17-year-old African-American Trayvon Martin the previous year. The movement gained greater attention during the Ferguson unrest that began in 2014, which was sparked by the fatal shooting of 18-year-old black man Michael Brown by Darren Wilson, a white police officer. Since then, further incidents have only increased the movement's presence. Number 9. Who is leading the movement? Though there are various significant figures within the group, Black Lives Matter is a decentralized organization with no official or specified leader. Instead, the movement involves anybody who publicly declares for the cause and devotes time and energy towards it. In 2013, Patrice Cullors, Alicia Garza, and Opal Tometi set up the Black Lives Matter Network, an online platform accessible to activists where common goals and principles are laid out. United by these principles, BLM is built around chapters operating throughout North America. Each chapter acts as a local strand of the greater group. On its website, BLM explains that the movement isn't leader-less, but in fact, leader-full, given the many activists who play a major role. It was very important from the beginning to say all Black Lives Matter, opening up the frame around Black Lives Matter being more than just the killings of young black boys, but rather a call for all black lives. Number eight, what inspired BLM? Black Lives Matter draws inspiration from other major organizations in history, including the Civil Rights Movement, the Black Power Movement, and the Black Feminist Movement, as well as other grassroots campaigns like Occupy Wall Street. BLM was established following the deaths of Trayvon Martin and Michael Turner, but has seen its profile rise considerably since then in the wake of other high-profile deaths of African Americans in police custody or as a result of police actions. The shooting of 12-year-old Tamir Rice, who had been carrying a replica pistol, the shooting of unarmed 44-year-old Eric Courtney Harris, and the shooting of unarmed 50-year-old Walter Scott following a traffic stop are just three in a series of deaths driving the BLM cause. Number seven, how does BLM compare to other political movements? Remember, I am, uh, nobody founded the movement, that the movement was founded by the people in St. Louis in 2014. A major difference between Black Lives Matter and the civil rights movement is BLM's lack of a central figure like Martin Luther King Jr. While Dr. King's cultural significance is in no way downplayed, BLM sees flaws with the civil rights model. By not having a designated leader, the group says it encourages equal potential within the movement for men and women, the young and old, heterosexual, homosexual, and transgender activists. The thing about Dr. Martin Luther King and what they've done to him is they've created this person who is like not possible. Black Lives Matter doesn't have a set profile or a recognizable face. It also argues that by not having identifiable leaders, the movement is less vulnerable, as no central figure is especially in danger of being harassed, targeted, or potentially killed. There are other recent examples of similarly people-powered protest groups, such as Occupy Wall Street, which rallies against social and economic inequality worldwide, again without formal leadership. However, while BLM strives to remain decentralized in its leadership, it has worked towards unifying its goals due to criticism that the group lacked structure, similar to criticism levied at the Occupy movement. Proposed in 2015, the Campaign Zero Manifesto consists of 10 suggestions designed to decrease police violence, though many of the policies it advocates already exist in many places. Number 6. What role has social media played in the BLM movement? 
Essentially, BLM started with a hashtag. Following George Zimmerman's acquittal and Trayvon Martin's death, social media users united under the slogan. Supporters are clear to state that this slogan is not meant to imply that the lives of those outside of the black community do not matter, but that African Americans are faced with specific societal issues that must be addressed. Today, key figures in the movement, like Sean King, DeRay McKesson, and Janetta Elzey, as well as the movement as a whole, continue to use technology to cement its position at the forefront of social issues. In the past, mistreatment of people would have been reported by telephone and picked up by newspapers, but the stories might have been potentially diluted and falsified over time. Today, any mass event can be organized in minutes, and any instance of injustice can be recorded and distributed in seconds, or in the case of Facebook Live, for example, in real time. Yeah, I think that if you see the Periscope, I was streaming uh, all of it, even the moment that I got uh, pushed down to the ground from behind. The likes of YouTube, Periscope, Twitter, Facebook, and GroupMe combine to allow anyone access to the movement's news and material at any time. It's another major reason why BLM figures believe that no recognized leader is necessary for this movement. Black lives Number five, who supports BLM? Black Lives Matter has seen support steadily rise since its beginning, meaning its influence has also expanded. President Barack Obama has previously recognized the group as having a positive impact on society, saying that the, quote, overwhelming majority of activists seek a, quote, better relationship between the police and the community. Groups of citizens can petition their government, can protest, can uh, speak truth to power. A 2016 NBC News poll concluded that 73% of Democrats and 45% of Americans overall approve of BLM. Even so, many corporations have noticeably chosen to stay silent on the issue. Exceptions to that rule are somewhat progressive companies like Facebook and Twitter, which offered their support publicly. However, where other causes like LGBT issues and same-sex marriage were embraced by well-known brands like Target and Starbucks, most of corporate America has refrained from choosing a side. What's more, for all those in favor of the BLM movement, it has also attracted criticism, with some commentators suggesting that Black Lives Matter has polarized the nation. Number four, who are BLM's critics? The Democrats, you know, are, are just pandering and sucking up to them. It is nauseating that they can't say the words yeah. all lives matter. The same NBC poll that found that 73% of Democrats and 45% of all Americans approve of BLM discovered that 70% of Republicans and 42% of Americans overall disapprove of the movement. Critics, like former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani, argue that the phrase Black Lives Matter is, quote, inherently racist in itself, as well as, quote, anti-American. And if Black Lives Matter was truly concerned about black lives, they'd be concerned about black crime. And while the group condemns violence of any kind, many were angered by the shooting of five Dallas cops in July 2016, seen by some as an indirect result of BLM actions. Debate has raged over whether Black Lives Matter is actually divisive and potentially dangerous to American society. An idea underlined by Jay Stallion, a black police officer in Florida, whose strongly worded critique of BLM drew international attention online. The phrase, all lives matter, emerged on social media as an attempt towards unity. Quite frankly, somebody with a nice tan needs to say this, all lives matter. But that too has since been labeled, quote, perilous, as it distracts attention from the matter at hand, the unfair treatment of black people. What's worse, some see the All Lives Matter not as an alternative to BLM, but as a direct rival to the movement. In fact, some have even labeled All Lives Matter as a racist statement itself. President's hair is so white, he keeps saying All Lives Matter. All right, fine. <laughs> fine, I get it. Number three, how have America's leaders reacted? Black Lives Matter. BLM has previously stated that it does not endorse, nor is it supported by, any particular political party. Members of the group argue that all parties have participated in the historic, quote, systematic disenfranchisement of black people. However, political reaction to the movement is key, given that 2016 is an election year. 
the Republican Party has regularly criticized BLM, with Ted Cruz calling the alleged anti-police rhetoric, quote, disgraceful, and Ben Carson describing the movement as, quote, political correctness gone amok. Of course all lives matter, and all lives includes black lives. In September 2015, Donald Trump said he thought the group was, quote, trouble, and criticized the Democrats for catering to it. Indeed, Hillary Clinton has appeared more supportive. In July 2016, following the separate police shootings of Alton Sterling and Philando Castile, the Democratic presidential nominee tweeted, quote, Black Lives Matter. However, during a recorded conversation between BLM and Clinton in August 2015, Clinton had shown some disagreement with the group's approach, while the group pressed Clinton on her husband's, former President Bill Clinton's own policies with regards to race. Even so, BLM urged all political leaders to take a stand on either side of the movement during the 2016 U.S. presidential election campaign. I believe that the debate and discussion has to go further. Number two, what kind of impact has the movement had? What they really want to see is uh, a better relationship between the police and the community. Black Lives Matter has had an indisputably massive impact on modern North American culture and society, as it aims to dispel the belief that America is past its historic problems with regards to racial inequality. Changes in policing remain a primary concern, but BLM activism has also moved into major politics, Silicon Valley, Wall Street, and Hollywood. As a result, for the police, body cameras are becoming increasingly important in an effort to monitor procedures. In the Justice Department, implicit bias training is to be introduced. The central bank has also announced plans to increase racial diversity in top jobs. And the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences has brought in a new, more racially diverse block of members following Oscar's So White criticism of the 2016 Academy Awards. Essentially, BLM has forced race issues onto the front pages once again. Again. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Number one, what does the future hold for the movement? Black Lives Matter is set to continue sparking debate in America, and the movement's international influence is growing, with BLM demonstrations staged in major European cities as well. While support steadily rises, however, BLM also marches amid controversy. United beneath a slogan which some view as divisive, and slammed by critics for a supposed anti-police attitude, the group's cause and method remain under scrutiny. What does that group want? I think they're trouble, I think they're looking for trouble. As America edges towards a presidential election, issues concerning racial inequality are sure to feature on the campaign trail. And while BLM backs no candidate in particular, the group demands the attention of whomever next takes residence in the White House. Did these facts get you thinking? Black Lives Matter, that's right. To vote for which news story is covered next, head over to watchmojo.com slash suggest. And be sure to hit that subscribe button for more newsworthy top tens published every week. I urge the police to be as reflective as they want the citizens to be. Um, and that's the only way that we'll get to a point where the trauma uh, ends in communities.